to my YouTube channel again. It's your boy Jimmy Ralph, and welcome to the camp of fun time. Welcome to my channel, Jimmy Ralph. Yeah, so now Jimmy Ralph is a talker, Jimmy Ralph is a speaker. Yeah, you know, I speak on issues, man. Apart from the fact that I do music, I also make sure that I contribute to the happenings, you know, in the industry. I make sure I share my views and thoughts on what's going on in the industry, and you know. Before I start with the issue, like before I speak on the issue for today, I want you to subscribe to this channel, hit the notification bell, like, subscribe for me, please like, subscribe and you know, leave a positive comment below, please leave a positive comment below for me, yo, 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 so today I'm here to talk about, you know, a serious issue, you know, a serious argument, conversation that a serious conversation that I think is isn't ending anytime soon you know I think isn't anytime ending anytime soon and you know it's all about the you know conversation the argument between who is the best country between you know who, who, who owns Afrobeat between Ghana and Nigeria you know between Ghana and Nigeria who owns the Afrobeat genre and my view is gonna be short like i always do like i said in one of my previous videos that it's no more a secret that the nigerian music industry is the hub of african music it's no more a secret that the nigerian music industry is the hub of african music and we should take it or not i'm a Ghanaian. And I do hip hop and Afrobeat sometimes, you know, once in a while I do Afrobeat, but I'm a hip hop musician and I'm stating the fact every musician in Ghana should accept the fact that we all, you know, every Ghanaian should accept the fact that a Nigerian owns Afrobeat at the moment. You know, when it comes to, you know, Af Nigerians should be given the captain band of Afrobeat because they are championing. Af uh, the Nigerians are championing the Afro beat, uh, beat course. You know, Nigerians are champion, and you know, Nigerians are reigning when it comes to the Afro beat. You know, Freeland Stadiums, you know, uh, reigning great awards. I don't remember the last time any Ghanaian uh, musician won an award with Afro beat. Any Afro beat musician, you know, won the BETs or were nominated, was nominated at the Grammys or, you know, but these Nigerians are doing it. The Nigerians are doing it and you know there's nothing wrong with you know we really going to uh, them to learn and you know I think we are already doing that but you know but uh, in the course of doing that we always get complaints that you know the likes of Kevin Boy, uh, Camidos and you know some couple of other musicians are sounding the, like the Nigerians and I see nothing wrong with that I see nothing wrong with that Drake is from Canada but sounds like an American. Drake is from Canada but sounds like an American. Uh Justin Bieber, you know, from America, a from Canada sounds like an American. So I see nothing wrong with someone coming from, you know, Ghana sounding like a Nigerian. I see nothing wrong with that. And you know, just imagine we are always happy whenever we hear the likes of Rantown, you know, the videos and you know mentioning uh speaking tree in their songs, although you will miss some of all miss some boy and you know and we are always happy for I for them doing that. So why shouldn't we uh why don't you think we should also go to them to also learn their ways of you know doing their music and stuff? Child, there's nothing wrong with that. If that is gonna make us win, then I think there's nothing wrong with us going to them. So you know imitate one or two things you know add add it up to what we have and you know we can also fly with that we can also fly yo so that's the short uh that's the short message i have for you man, charlie yo so i'm just reminding you again to you know subscribe hit the notification bell like share for me please you know and to shout to all my nigerian brothers you know shout to all my Ghanaian brothers man you know we should support you know there's nothing wrong you know really charlie but i surely know there uh i surely know that there is hope brighter future for the ghana music industry because we are all you know making sure that we you know 
uh, get the necessary plugins, you know, so that we can also get to the top, man. Fun time. And okay, bye. Thank you. <laughs>